Hi, my name is Ryan Schell with Development Counselors International, and this is a quick tutorial about Facebook Places and Facebook Deals. So to get started, Facebook Places, it's a mobile check-in service very much uh, like Foursquare, um, where people can check in, share where they are, and you can take advantage of deals and, and things of that nature. So the first slide you're gonna see here, these are shots taken, screenshots taken directly from my iPhone, and I just wanted to give you an, a, a, a first-hand experience of what uh, places looks like from the user experience. So here in the center of the screenshot you're gonna see places. So if we were to click on that as a user what you would see is um, it's saying these are friends that are nearby, these are other friends um, that have checked in that aren't exactly close by me. So to get started what I would do is click check in and wherever I was at the time these screenshots were taken these are locations that came up near me. Um, you'll notice that um, there's this little yellow post-it note type looking thing here. What that's indicating is this location has a deal. Um, so just out of curiosity, let's go with Angelo and Maxi's Steakhouse. So um, if I was using my phone, I would simply tap that. And next, Angelo and Maxi's Steakhouse location is going to come up. And what I'm seeing um, is that they have a deal, one free dessert with the purchase of an entree. And since I love dessert, I would probably check in here if I was going, uh, had planned to visit Angelo Maxi's Steakhouse. So what we would do um, is say, hey, in the what you what are you doing section, you could type, about to have a great dinner at Angelo Maxi's Steakhouse, woot woot, free dessert. Okay, your message might be a little different. Um, if I was on my phone directly below tag friends with you right here, um, you would be able to click the check in button. So say we did that um, and we wanted to claim this deal after we check in, it would say, okay, basically, you've got the deal, present this to cashier, it expires at 6 p.m., and this is deal number four of 100. So what that means is they have uh, made 100 of these deals available. Next, after I've checked in at Angelo Maxi Steakhouse and accepted the deal, what would happen is it's gonna post um, the status to my wall, and for this, I just put this as a test when I was going through to make this presentation. So now I want to tell you about how you can make a deal. And rather than going through the presentation, let me just show you live um, on the computer how to make a deal. Um, I'm already logged into my Facebook account. And really quick, let me explain. There are three different type of Facebook um, pages. There are, or we'll just use pages. So there are profiles. Profiles are made for people. Um, so I have a personal profile. There are what we can call brand pages, and that's your typical Facebook page that you, you may have heard about. To make, to make it a little more confusing, there are also Facebook place pages. So just a uh, quick example using DCI's account. So first we'll go to DCI's page. And you'll note pages have the, the different tabs at the top, and this is kind of how they look. But what I want to do is get to DCI's place page. And you'll notice it's the second one that comes up here. And it has a little different look. Um, it's more location-based. Um, so what we'll do is on the place page to create a deal I'm going to click edit page up in the upper right hand corner and then you're going to see deals over in this left hand navigation click deals and what we'll do is create a deal for this page and you're going to notice right off the bat there are multiple options um, for a deal you can create an individual deal that's where I can go in and I can get a reward basically for checking into the location a friend deal is when you have multiple people in a location and somebody checks in all of the friends. Uh, then you have loyalty, loyal, loyalty deals, if I can say that. And that's basically you get rewarded for checking in multiple times. And then you have a charity deal. And what that can mean is if I check in at X location, say Starbucks, they've done this, that Starbucks will donate a percentage possibly of the sale um, to a charity. And let me get back to these loyalty deals really quick. Let me get back to the presentation. Remember these from back in the day, and some people people still use these actually, and if, if you do, it's okay, but there's a really updated way to do this. So there's this pizza place uh, near DCI's office in Union Square, and I went there the other day, and the, the owner had these, and he was so happy, and he, he knows that I come there a lot, so he gave me four little stars, and at the end of, after the 10th visit, I get a free pie. And I immediately looked at him, and I said, have you ever heard of Facebook Places Deals? And he hadn't, so I kind of gave him the information. So with these loyalty deals, you can basically create this card online. So you don't have to worry about the tracking. You don't have to worry about printing these and the design costs and all of that. 
it's all done for you right within Facebook deals by using the loyalty deal. Um, as you're going through and creating your deal, you'll kind of see what it's going to look like here. Uh, the first image is the deal before someone checks in. The second image example here is what a deal looks like after someone checks in. So you can have a deal summary here. That's where you would type uh, free soda with purchase of meal. Not exactly a deal I would recommend, but you'll see um, that the images have changed up here. The next option is how to claim. We'll just do present to cashier. And when you're doing this, if you do a deal, make sure you tell your staff, um, whether it be the wait staff, cashier, who, you know, whoever's running the register, they need to know what's going on with these deals, how to claim them, um, and any special uh, circumstances that you need to help, uh, handle for record keeping. Next, we have the details and restrictions of the deal. So it, what's, it's really great because you can have the start date, the time, the end date and the time, you can limit it to the number of deals. So you could do unlimited or you could limit it to say, if you wanted to just, you know, really control costs, say 20. Um, claimable once every 24 hours per user, or you could just do it a once per user type thing. Next, you would click create deal. And on the next page, it's going to have, sorry, I clicked this twice, but this is what it'll look like. It's basically saying this is what your deal was. Here's the specifics. And it has to be reviewed by the fine folks at Facebook. Once that's done, uh, you'll be notified that your deal is live and that consumers can start using it. You can also come back in and you can edit deal. You can, as you saw on that last page, you can stop the deal. And since this is an example, yes, we definitely want to stop the deal. Um, but that's really the gist of creating a deal um, using Facebook Places. I think it's a great tool from a business standpoint. It's a great way to engage consumers. And lastly, if you're going to do a deal using Facebook Places, make sure you tell folks. Um, somewhere within your physical location, maybe on the front door have a sign um, that says, hey, check in with Facebook Places to receive a deal, maybe 20% off. That is Facebook Places. If you have any questions, you can email me. My email address is ryan.shell, S-H-E-L-L, at aboutdci.com. Again, ryan.shell at aboutdci.com. Um, any questions you have, feel free to send them over. Thanks for watching. Bye.